everybody. My name is Giselle and I am a library associate at Mesa County Libraries and today we are going to do some collage coolness. So I'll tell you a little bit about collage first. It's an art form and collage is actually a French word that means to glue. So most collages are made by using glue and that's what we'll be using today once we get to collages. So I hope you're having a great time this summer doing some summer reading activities. This is something you could put on your log to get some points and get closer to your prizes. Also, if you haven't signed up, be sure to go to the website and there's a spot where you can click and register. Also, there's a lot of great virtual programming this summer that you'll wanna take advantage of. We'll have special entertainers, We'll have Mesa County staff doing lots of activities, so you'll want to make sure you log in and take advantage of some of that this summer. First of all, we'll learn what is collage. Well, collage is making pictures by sticking different things onto paper or cardboard. Um, you can use um, watercolor paper. There's many ways things that you can collage on. You can use a piece of wood and you can collage on that. And look at all these different materials you can use to make collage. Here's a picture with them all kind of muddled together. But you can use buttons and little washers, pieces of string, ribbon, cork, feathers, little pebbles, sand. You can use just about anything you want to make collage, as long as you can get it to stick on your paper or onto your cardboard. Old straws, um, cotton balls. I keep thinking of different things you could use. Shells, seashells. How do you make a collage? Well, First of all, you want to collect all your materials that you might want to use, so they're all in one place. And then if you have really big things, you'll probably want to cut them into smaller pieces. Um, I cut some of these into smaller pieces. I cut some things out of magazines into smaller pieces that I might use. Um, because they would be way too big and they would cover my whole paper. Um, if you use string or ribbon, you might want to cut that up. So you'll, you'll want, don't want to have giant pieces that you, before you begin. Little lids. You'll also want to collect some glue. You might need a brush and some water. You'll want some scissors. You might want tape. But you'll need things to stick all your materials down onto your paper, like this little boy is doing. What can you use to make a collage? We talked about it a little bit already, but you can tear paper into um, pieces. You can use recycle, you can recycle things. You can use things that might get thrown away. You can get old magazines or catalogs if you happen to get any of those in the mail anymore and cut things out of there. You can go in the kitchen and ask your adults if you might be able to use some pasta or you might get some tin foil and crunch it all up. Um, those are some of the other things that you might be able to use on your collage. These children are using cotton. Finally, you can make a picture using something real. Um, I talked a little bit about using rocks or seashells. Um, this boy is using things to make a collage of a garden. He actually is using some leaves along with cotton balls and paper. And you can also make shapes and patterns if you want to make a design. Um, you might want to take your paper and make an outline first of your design and then that way you have it ready to go and place all your items on it. But you don't have to. You don't have to draw it out if you don't like. So that's a little bit about collage and how to make it. So now I'll show you a picture of a collage that I did that was just on paper. 
Um, I didn't use anything with a lot of texture or anything real big because I just had a little piece of computer paper, which isn't very thick. But what I did, I did this at home. I took my paper and I went outside and looked around because I wanted to have my background have some texture and some um, different patterns on it and not just be a plain old blue background. So I found a little table that we have and it has a top with a pattern on it. And I thought, ah, I can use that. So I laid my paper on there and I took my crayon and I just colored all over my whole paper. And that way I got this little design that's on this picture. After I got um, my design on the back, I thought, hmm, I think I want to make some stars on my background. So I have stars in my sky. So first I found this lid that came off a bottle of bottled water and it has a star pattern on it. So I put it under my paper and I colored over the top of it and made a little pattern. Um, and I made a few of those and I thought, eh, I'm kind of tired of that. So I didn't, I put my lid away. And then I got out an ca old catalog and I found a picture of these cyclists and wearing different clothes, and I thought, oh, I'll cut those out. The other thing I found in my magazine or my old catalog was different colored paper that I used to make stars. And I thought, oh, how fun would that be? So I just cut out, you know, like I cut the front off where she's got all that pink, and I drew some stars and cut them out and glued them on. And I also found some blue, blue um, things in my magazine, cut those out, made some more stars, and glued them all on. And then on the bottom, I thought, hmm, I think I need something on the bottom of my collage. So I took some colored pencils, and I drew some stems, and I drew some flowers. I cut out some colors and made flowers that way. And then I found some little washers in our garage. So I took those and I put them under my paper and colored over the top and I used them to make some little circle flowers. And then I colored those in with some colored pencils. So that's how I made this first collage when I was at home when we were quarantined. So, to, but today we'll see if we can use some texture to make some collage. So I have a piece of kind of heavy cardboard. It's just an old cereal box. You could use a cereal box, pizza box. Um, you might have something else at home that's a little bit more sturdy so that you don't have to go out and buy something. So I have my collage background ready to go. I have paper that is tissue paper and it's been already torn up and will crunch it and I might use that for the sky and I also cut out some colored some blue out of magazines that I found I thought well I might use that for part of my sky then I have some green tissue paper I might use that for the bottom of my picture because it's going to be an outside picture again I have some pieces of cardboard tube. You can use a um, paper towel roll or other rolls. And I actually cut it in half and cut the end off one because I think I'm going to make a horse. So we'll see how this turns out. I also have some pieces of brown that I cut out and some darker colors. I might put that on my tube eventually, I'm not sure. And then I actually have some pictures of a horse and a horse and a lady. I might glue those down first and then put my tube on top, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll kind of lay the pieces out and see what looks good before we would actually glue anything down. You want to kind of work with it first 
before you glue because once you glue it's kind of there and you can't change it. So you might want to arrange your pieces first and just see what you think you like. So here might be a body. Do I want to put brown on my body? I could cut this brown and put it on there. Give my body some different colors. Then it won't look just like the back of my background. Put some black on there. Or some of this color. Hmm. Not quite sure. I don't think that I want to put the lady back there behind him. Because that looks, you know, kind of covers up the horse, and I don't think I want to use that. So I'll save that for another time. Hmm. But I might still put that one over there. Put him over this way. Oh, here's some more black. Do I want to? Well, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So first of all, I'll just stick down all my grass, and then I'll put my sky, and then I will do my horse. So let's get out the glue. Another thing you might, um, another thing if you collage, some people like to get their tissue paper, if you have it, kind of, you, know, you crumple it, but you may want to leave it flat. If you do that, if you make a mixture of glue and water and get a paintbrush, paint over the top of your cardboard or your paper before you use it, and then stick your, uh, your tissue paper on, you can make it look a little... Um, You'll have a flatter sky and a flatter ground, and it'll look really cool that way too. I'm not going to do that today because we don't have enough time, but that's another thing you could do instead of just sticking it on with glue. But you'll want to make your glue thinner if, it's, if it, doing it this way is too thick for that. Before I forget, we have some books in the library that I'll be checking in, and you can check out that talk about collage. It'll give you some ideas, um, some thing, other things you might want to do. The idea I have for the horse came out of this book called I Love to Collage. So that would be in this book. But I'll check them in so you can check them out. So I think the first thing I'll do, I decided I want to make my horse brown. I want him to be a different color than my cardboard because otherwise you won't even see him. So let's take some of this brown magazine stuff that I cut out. So I think that'll look pretty good. And I probably won't cover the whole tube. I'll probably put some on but not necessarily cover the whole thing. So let's put this one. Okay, put that one like that. And when you do this at home, you may want to let things dry before you complete your collage. I mean, if I was at home, I would stick that on there and I'd probably leave it sit for a while before I decided to try and stick it onto my paper, onto my cardboard. That way things don't fall off and you have to do it over again. <laughs> this would be something fun to do on a summer afternoon when it's really hot and you don't want to be outside. You could do this indoors and you could do it as a family as well. If you have cousins come over or friends, you could uh, get a bunch of things together and do collage. Another fun one I saw in one of the books is you cut out a face 
I mean, I thought of it when I picked her up. You cut out a face, and then you might want to cut out different eyes from another face and a different mouth, and then you could make a really funny face. That was kind of fun. Or you could even think about your own face, and you could um, draw a certain, you know, draw your face, and then you could cut out different colors and make your own eyes and your nose and your mouth. There's just so many cool things you can do with collage. You could also paint your background with watercolors. Um, I think I might try that at home. Get my paints out, paint a background, and then go from there. So we'll just do that much for our horse, and then we'll put that aside for now. We'll stick on a few. I think I'm gonna just make a small little line of glue. We'll take some of our crushed up paper, just kind of stick it on there for sky. And I won't finish my collage today. I just want to give you an idea of how to do it. And I'll do the same thing on the bottom. I'll make some green grass for my horse to run on. Another thing you may want to do at home before you start gluing, you might want to cover your table with some old newspaper or maybe an old sheet, something to protect the table, especially if you're painting. You'll want to make sure you don't get paint where you don't want it to go. And that way you will be protecting the table on, on that. And also in the book I read, the children had on little, um, little smocks you might want to get an old shirt if you're painting, put that on so you keep your clothes. You don't want your adults to be like, how did you get paint all over your clothes? To keep everybody happy that way. Okay, so when I decide to finish this, I'll probably put another row of green and put some more blue for my sky. So eventually what I'll do is put my horse body here. I'll, I will probably be cutting out some legs, probably out of a magazine. I'll try find something that's uh, brownish, or black maybe, make some legs for him. I didn't really look real hard yet for that. But I'll make some legs, and then I'll take this other piece of tube that I cut, and I'll put it up here and make a head. Actually, that's a really big head. Probably use this one. We'll see. We'll I'll play around with it and find out. I'll probably use some more of this to put on his head before I glue it down. To make his tail, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the tail yet. I haven't decided. So that gives you an idea of what my collage is gonna be. It's gonna be a horse on a background with sky and grass. I might put some flowers in there. I might try find something that I can glue down to make flowers. Something bigger than the washers, but not as big as this. So then I even have more texture onto my picture. And lastly, I brought a cork because one of these books talks about making a bird out of a cork. So this would be the bird's body, and then you could get some feathers and Put them behind here. You could make a little neck maybe out of a chenille stick or you could even just draw a neck and then put some feathers for a head. So I didn't do that but I wanted to bring the cork to show you that you might want to use a cork for something to make collage as well. 
Let's see. Last thing I wanted to show you was some books that authors have used, have made a story, but then they also make collage to do the artwork. So maybe with your collage, you want to make some and then you want to write a story to go with your collage. That's kind of what Lois Ehlert did in this book. It's called Rainfish. She used collage to make her fish. And there'll be a couple different pictures of fish that she made, but I thought this one was interesting. She took a cardboard box, she pulled off part of the cardboard to show all these little ribs underneath on her fish, and then she took a leaf to make a fin. She actually used an orange peel to kind of make his eye and the, the front of him. I thought that was pretty interesting. This fish, she just, I think she just took tissue paper like this, kind of crump, made it in the shape of a fish. She used a feather for his tail, and she used a bottle cap to make a great big eye. I thought that was pretty interesting. So that's how this author used collage. This author used collage to make a story about robins. So she wrote the story, and then she used different things, collage, to make the pictures in her book. Here's, an, interestingly enough, another picture of a horse. And she has an apple, she made a little mouse, she made grass, looks like she used paper for that. She made a little pig. She did all different kinds of animals using collage of some kind. She made a worm, whole bunch of different. So there's lots of ways she used collage. And I'll show you one more. Steve Jenkins, he does a lot of collage work when he illustrates for authors. He has lots of different colors on his and lots of different things he used. Mostly paper, it looks like. But here's a picture of an owl that he cut out of a magazine or an old book or something. So he used an owl there and a magazine. Lots of different pieces of paper. Here is an ocean or a tide pool. Lots of different colors, different paper. Looks like he used tissue paper for that. Maybe even some paint back there. I just kind of flipped to that page. He used made a beetle. Here's another one with lots of different things on it. So you can either make a really elaborate collage or it can be very simple, kind of like the one I worked on here. So I hope that that gives you plenty of ideas to work on a collage this summer. And if you make a really cool collage and you want to share it with the library, maybe take a picture of it, share it with um, family, Maybe we could figure out a way you could share it with different library patrons. The other thing you can do, you can make a display at home. Ask your adults before you put anything on the wall, but maybe you want to decorate your room with your collage or several collages. So I hope you enjoyed collage. Have a great summer. Uh, remember to check out all the different virtual activities and things that we're helping you learn this summer. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.